All right, here we are, waiting for food. Uh, welcome back. I'm Sunberry Kiss, your host. This is Don't Starve, which we are trying desperately not to do. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really. T t I, I, I want to say we are succeeding, but you know what? I can't really tell. Oh great, it just made another stuffed eggplant. That's not really all that helpful, is it? Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab all of our flint. Or at least a group a grouping of it. Grab that, and then we're gonna make the razor. That way we can keep our beard. Oh yeah. Because we're going to need this in order to make effigies, meat effigies. So let's go ahead and throw that in there, and then we'll throw in the razor, and we'll throw in, you know, some of this other random stuff, I guess. Let's go ahead and keep this out, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this in here with two of those and one of those and see what it does. Hopefully it works out in my favor. That would be ideal, but I'm going to say it probably won't. Probably won't be in my favor. May very well not be gratuitous to me. We also have to make the bird trap, which is something in survival. Bird trap. And perhaps the fishing pole too. Fishing rod. Oh, I need two, it looks like, for that. Oh well. No big deal. Let's go ahead and set the trap down. They'll they'll come to it themselves. I don't really need to worry about it. That's all a thing that they do on their own. Oh, it did work. So I'm just gonna eat one of those. Mm, yummy, yummy. All right, good stuff. Let's make sure I have everything well enough aligned here so I can equip it if need be. We're gonna go check the traps for our bunny rabbit friends and see if we got any good collections this time around. I'm hoping we did. I'm like desperately hoping with everything that I am in existence possible that we uh, got some decent rabbit collection going on, but who knows, huh? Certainly not me. Alright, let's go ahead and we're just going to throw this down. Literally just going to drop our tools here. Uh, I also, I really want to fight those trees and just get rid of them, like once and for all, because I don't know how to unpiss them off, which is really not fun overall. So I just kind of want to beat them all down and get rid of them and then be on about my life from there. But whether or not that's possible, I don't really know. We'll have to find out, I guess. Preferably sooner than later, but oh look, there's two at least. At the very least, two are already done. And we'll go ahead and reset the traps because this is how you farm for the winter. With traps and rabbits galore. Go ahead and set that, thank you. My, my, look at all these rabbits. I didn't catch as many as I anticipated we were going to catch, but we did catch some. And that, my friends, is part of the battle. Not a huge part, but it is a part nonetheless. As you can tell, I was really expecting to get more because I left everything else back at the the little camp I made. Yeah, so. With that being said, we're going to collect some grass so we can make some more traps, so we can get some more rabbits. Because summer is 12 days away. That's not good. That's not pleasant, is it? It's not, trust me. If you've ever played this game, you know... Oh, I said summer, didn't I? I meant winter. I meant winter is 12 days away. And that is certainly not pleasant. Summer is good. Summer's fun. Summer's happy-go-lucky, campy time. Winter, on the other hand, uh, exact opposite. It is the epitome of not so good. So we're gonna have to we'll have to really get on our our thinking caps here and get ready. I'm gonna kill one of these beefalo. I know that's just like the harshest thing possible, right? Absolutely terrible of me to do. I'm sure. Makes me a, a complete another dickbag, but 
got to. I really do. I'm also going to kind of lead him astray. I'm going to make him think I'm his friend. And then, unfortunately for him, I'm going to lead him away from all of his actual friends. Like, out here somewhere. Which is where I will proceed to kill him. He's so fast. Cool, got him. Oh, sweet, we actually did get the horn too. That is fantastic. And we got three beefalo wool. All right, that was a really good kill. That was nice. I only took two damage and most everything is okay for the most part. We won't talk about the things that's not. I really hope to be able to keep my tentacle spike. I do love my tentacle spike so, so, so much. It is the most damaging weapon that you can get uh, right off the bat like that. Without building it is what I mean when I say right off the bat like that. I guess that there's no more beefalo around? Oh, here we go. Good. I'm not going to actually attack them. I'm just here for their poops. Just here for the poop. Cool. And then... Oh, it's a full moon, so we can actually stay out and travel. That's good. Let's say it's a long way back and it's already almost dark. I might not make it. I might have to use the auxiliary campfire. But given that as of right now, it is a full moon, I will not need to do that. We're going to look for some more swampland so we can get... Hello, friends. So we can get uh, papyrus and actually make a bird cage. So if I recall, that's how you do that. I don't remember for sure, but I'm pretty pretty sure that's how you do that. Or it's a birdhouse or some shit like that. I don't know. It's something to, to do with the bird, something to do with something else. It's where you keep your birds, okay? Stop asking me. Jeez. Jeez Louise. We probably, speaking of that, we probably got a bird captured back at the house, back at the main base. Which is a huge advantage for the front team, by the way. I'm gonna pick up some seeds here. I'll grab this new rabbit friend of ours. Huh, another new rabbit friend of ours. You guys are gonna be feeding me really well. You know that, right? Silly little rabbits walking into all the traps. All the traps they can. What a bunch of silly little rabbits. You almost feel bad for them though, right? Like, they don't understand what they're doing, they're just roaming around. They're just trying to have a good time, and then... Next thing you know... Oof! They're dead. Or, you know, in my pocket. Stashed away. In my huge... Undying pockets. What the hell is going on down here? Obviously, there's some spiders, but it sounds like they're fighting something. My. Oh, they're fighting the werewolf pig. That's what's going on. Well, they actually killed him for me, so... Looks like they ate the meat, though. Those damn bastards. Alright, we did just now hear the dog, by the way, too. In case anyone was wondering. Finally, on day 10, the dogs decided to peek their little heads up. This is a huge world. This world is fucking gigantic. I shit you not, this thing is bigger than hell. Alright, let's go ahead and run home. Preferably before the dogs get to us, but that may not be possible at this point. Might be a little bit too far gone for that. I'm gonna take this stuff. Just gonna grab it all right quick. Oh, walrus camp. We want to remember to avoid that because those things are dangerous as hell. That is not a joke. They're extremely dangerous and I don't really want to deal with them right now. I also, simultaneously, really don't feel like dealing with the dogs, but I know that they're not going to pose much of a threat. 
It's just a matter of ruining my equipment fighting them, which I don't like to do. They're just so unchallenging that I don't even want to fight them anymore. You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys know what I mean. I'm sure you get it. Yes, I heard that. Calm down. Oh, hello. Once the music starts to die down like that, you're safe, so. Yeah, there was only two of them. Which, unfortunately for them, was not enough manpower to take me out. Terrible, isn't it? Terrible fate they've met. Oh well, though, you can't really warn them. It's impossible. They don't want to hear it. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick some of these. Right, that's fine. That makes total sense. We're gonna waste our time picking sticks instead of making food right now. But trust me, it all works out in the end, believe me. I know what I'm doing. And then we're gonna kill two rabbits. Just two. Just two little bun buns. Oh really, all three carrots, huh? That is ridiculous. Still no bird. We might actually have to bait it, I guess. I didn't think you had to, but... Perchance I was wrong? Which is fine, too. I don't mind being wrong. Oh, look. A bird. Nice birdie, soft birdie, little ball of fur. It's not fur, it's feathers, but you know. You know what I mean. You get it. We're just going to throw that on the ground because I really don't need it. And with these other flowers, we're literally just going to eat them all. And then we're going to store our rabbits for the winter. The bird too, I guess. Why not? And let's go ahead and get our crock pot. This is... Meaty stew, which should be a full belly full of worth of food. Yeah, it is. Outstanding. And that's why it's important to have your beefalo around, too. Because they are extremely valuable when it comes to making food that's going to last. Like, extremely, extremely valuable. So let's go ahead and move this into there. Like so. Looks like we're already going to need some more chests, which is fine. We'll just build one more. Like this. That. And then... I'm going to bait this one more time here. Grab some of these berries over yonder. I'm actually going to start moving stuff around so that way I can make some decent farms near my base worth of... Uh, Stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. there you go. Ooh. Sorry, little birdies. You've joined me now. Put one in there, and then we'll put one in here, too. Alright, cool. Get away with those seeds, you little bastard. It's another full moon night. Which means that we're gonna grab our shovel here. And we're gonna start moving stuff around in the next episode. So until then guys, if you are enjoying this series, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below what game, if any, you would like to see me play. If you have any suggestions, I am more than open to them. Uh, until next time, I bid you all a fancy little adieu, and goodbye.